So the next one I'm going to do is question three. Question three. Find the lengths of the missing sides in each case. So I'll just, just show you this here. So question three there. Find the lengths of the missing sides in each case. Use third, i.e. square root form where the triangle appears on page nine, where the angle appears on page nine in the match tables. Otherwise, give your angles correct two decimal places. Now, what does that mean? It means, for example, if you open your maths tables, now page 9 has changed, so on the new maths tables, it would be on page 13. And that looks like this, that page there. Alright, so basically, if you're looking at an angle, and it's got a sine or cosine or a tangent, which uh, is a third, a third, by the way, is a ratio. So 3 pi over 2 is a third form because it's a ratio. Pi over 6 is a ratio. 0 isn't a ratio. Well, you could say, yeah, minus 1 over 1. Uh, you could call it a ratio as well, but uh, you wouldn't really call that. So pi over 6, 3 pi over 2, pi, pi over 2. They're all what you would call a third, a ratio. And the question says that where you can't find a third format, you put it in two, two, two decimal places. So let's have a go at this. I'm going to draw the first one. It's as follows. If your usual right angle is triangle, you have the points B, C, and A. And he calls this one here 30 degrees. And he calls the magnitude of this 8 centimeters. So what do we do? Well, we do the exact same as we've done in everything else. We go Sakatoa. S O H C A H T O A. Sakatoa. Just in case at this stage you don't understand it or don't remember it. Now, as we've done in previous cases, you can physically write out the sine, cosine, and tangent, and then manipulate it by just moving it around to get the lengths of these sides. But I'm assuming at this stage that you that you uh, understand it. So here's 30. This is the opposite side. So therefore, this length of this side is, is 8 sine 30. This here is 8 cos 30. Um, I suppose, look, just for clarity, I'll do it one last time. Sine of 30 is equal to uh, the length of CB, the magnitude of the length of CB over 8. Therefore, CB is equal to 8 times sine of 30. Alright, which is exactly what we wrote up here. So, if you look at your page 13 of your tables, you'll find that sine of 30 degrees, the sine of 30 degrees, is equal to half, the cosine of 30 degrees. The cosine of 30 degrees is what? Is root 3 over 2. That means, now by the way, those are thirds because they are ratios, because they are, you know, x over y. That means it's a ratio. Something divided by something gives you a ratio. So the answer here is that the length of CB, that number is magnitude or length, uh, is equal to 8 times a half is equal to 4. The length of AB is equal to 8 times root 3 over 2 is equal to 4 root 3. Now I think that's, that's, quite, uh, that's quite straightforward. Once again, if I'm going too quickly, just slow it down, but I've done the theory all up in before in a, in a reasonable amount of detail. So we're not going to do them all, like I said. So I'm going to do maybe number number four. IV, draw the triangle. Here, he calls this position X, this one Z, this one Y. He says the angle here is 35 degrees. He calls the angle there 35 degrees. So you know something? I'm going to do this. Uh, I'm going to do this. I'm going to see if we can have, use this one to illustrate a couple of points. So the first point is that this is 90 degrees. This is 35. All the angles in your triangle add up to 180. 180. Okay. So therefore, you have 180 minus 90 minus 35, and gives you this angle here at 55 degrees. Now, we know that we have Sakatoa. Okay, we know this here, that length here is 20 centimeters. Therefore, 
this is 35 this is the side opposite 35 so its magnitude is what? it's 20 times the sine of 35 we know that this side here is 20 times the cosine of 35 why? because it is the adjacent side of 35 remember cosine uses adjacent now just to illustrate that you can also use 55 now the side XZ uh, in terms of the angle 55 degrees well this would be the adjacent so this would be 20 times the cosine of 55 and similarly this angle here can you see that yes you can this angle here will be 20 times the sine of 55 why because sine uses opposite and this is the opposite side for the angle 55 so let's see if they're the same you can see my calculator there right so we're going to go 20 times the sine of 35 is equal to so we'll say x the magnitude of the the side x z is equal to we'll say 11.4 degrees sorry centimeters is the is the uh, is the unit 20 times the cosine of 55 is equal to what oh look 11.47 again so you can see that they're the exact same now look you do it yourself if you want but otherwise you can believe me that if you do the same for 20 cosine 35 and 20 sine 55 you get the exact same thing Alright, so I'm going to finish that there. That's the. Well, it's not the end of uh, question three. Look, you know, I'll go. I'll keep going on with question three then. I thought that might be the end. We'll plow on. I'll do one last one. Alright. Okay, you can see that. Very quickly you now. I'm kind of running out of time on my video. So I'm going to do what one? I'm going to do number two. 10x. So we have the following triangle. We have alpha, we have root 20, we have B, C, and A. This is 90 degrees. So look, we should be able to do this very quickly at this stage. The angle alpha, this side BA is adjacent, therefore its magnitude is 20 times, or root 20 times, the cosine of alpha. This is root 20 times the sine of alpha. Uh, the sine of alpha, and you're given that alpha is equal to inverse tan of a half. Just you should know at this stage that alpha, that sorry, tan alpha is equal to also is also arc tan. They're the same thing. If you look at your tables, what is uh, what angle has a tan of a half? So just let me have a look here. Tan of a half. Jeepers, you know something? I don't see anything with a tan of a half. I don't see anything with a tan of a half. So what you do, is you fire that into your calculator, type shift tan 1 divided by 2, get an angle of 26 degrees. 26 degrees. So therefore, uh, you can just write 20, root 20, cosine 26 degrees for this side, and the same. In, in regard to sign and that side. And that's question three.